gosh. Hi, my name is April, and I'm here to talk about when I had my bi bilateral mastectomy. Um, I had both of my um, breasts removed because I had um, two large masses in my right breast, and there was a, um, I had cancer. The cancer had spread into my lymph nodes. Um, what I want to say. Well, I went in the hospital January 7th, 2020 about five o'clock in the morning and when I went back into where they prepare you for the operating room the nurse she was very helpful she told me to use muscle relaxers um, to help with the pain she said nothing else really gonna help me but that okay Cause she said that she had the bilateral vasectomy too and that helped her a lot okay but she had a re reconstruction done too I didn't have that because um, I ran into some issues with these doctors. They wanted me to do too much before I um, was able to get the reconstruction. They wanted me to lose weight. Like, like I told a lady, I was like, I'm a plus size girl. You know, if it was that easy for me to lose weight, I would have been done. Okay? There's no way that I could lose weight just for a surgery you know what i'm saying like that quick like what and then you're not even telling me how much weight to lose she didn't tell me how much i need to lose she was trying to show me um another patient's um stuff on her computer and i told her i don't want to see all of that i said because you compare me to somebody else i don't want to hear nothing about nobody else i'm here to talk about me not your other patient that has nothing to do with me and that's a violation of hipaa right there by you even going to the computer opening it up trying to show me somebody else's stuff so it was just a lot of things going on so i decided not to do it because i was getting frustrated i really wanted to do it i had wanted the um i wanted the implants that's what i was going for the implants but when um i was talking to that nurse during the um the plastic surgery um, nurse, um, sh she was telling me that it was not just something simple as you just put them in. You got to come in several times, like about six times. They have to go back in and, and do all this stuff. And I don't got time for that. You know, my body has gone through a, enough with, with chemo, you know, and now I'm doing radiation. It just would have been too much. But anyways, the day of the surgery um, for the... Um, the bi bilateral, um, the bilateral, move out the way. The bilateral um, mastectomy. After the surgery, when I woke up, both of my hands were numb. See, my hands are swole. They're swole. See, I can't bend them. This, this, see, this has been going on since January. Okay. Um, the nurse told me that this was because of the anesthesia and that it'll wear off, okay? It never wore off. The surgery was in January. It's July now, okay? So I don't understand what's going on here, but my hands were numb. So when, when I, the, they, when they have put bulbs on the sides of my sides. It's like these little bulbs. It's like, let me see how can I, I explain it. It's, you know, like the huggy juices? It was shaped like a huggy, a huggy juice, kind of, and uh, but you had to have it had to be squeezed, squeezed in to collect the um, the blood. It was, it was like these tubes, and the tubes was connected to the bulb, and the tube was stitched to the to my sides. And since I had both of my breasts removed, they were both attached to both sides, my right side and my left side, which made it difficult for me to get in my bed because my bed is high and you got to do all this moving and stuff. And if you, if you pull on that thing the wrong way, it's going to hurt. So I ended up sleeping in the recliner for, well, until, for, I, I slept in the recliner for like two or three months, but I had it removed like within a, one, a week or two, but it was just, I was just still uncomfortable and my chest was hurting and it felt like 
it was something was tightening and squeezing right where my breast was at you know it, it just it just felt weird and it hurt to stand up like I, when I walked I was walking hunched I didn't want to get up because it hurt it the only thing that helped was taking the muscle relaxers like that nurse had told me and it took the pain away and it made me sweet too so that that was what happened and then like like I said like about a week later because I had to record how much fluid was in those bulbs and when it got below um, 15 or something like that they that's when they would remove them so they finally removed them and when they removed them they snatched them they snatched them out on my sides and it hurt like hell that thing hurt you talking about somebody was in there screaming I was screaming I know them people that was you know the other patients that was seeing the doctors was like what the hell is wrong with her I was screaming and they had to do two of them it, it hurt they, they, they just snatch it out and then they, pat, they put like a bandage on it just a bandage that's that but when you get the bulbs put in you can't take a bath you have to take a shower so that's my story about the what happened with the surgery the bilateral the, the yeah. bilateral bilateral mastectomy okay thanks for listening i'll be back with another video Bye bye